What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Kenyo Poetry Live, the number one poetry show on the network, Saved Over Success Network. Shout out to Rise Above TV, too, for sharing this. So happy to be back on Saved Over Success. Good morning, America. How are you guys doing? I don't know if Good Morning America, if that's trademarked or not. Whatever. I'm the poet, uh, Kenyo. And, um, you know, I might have to, like, change my branding a little bit, because last night I did a music performance, and that doesn't, that's not just poetry, right? That fits into some other stuff. So, um, anyway, today's episode is going to be called Faith. I have some cool poems lined up for you. I have a poem lined up um, by Frankie Baines. And I'm actually going to share one of my own poems. Um, but I'm going to start this episode, this episode of Kenya Poetry Live, the number one poetry show on the network, Saved Over Success Network. I'm going to start it with actually a huge plug. That's right. I'm, I'm plugging some stuff. I think that's fair. Um, I'm a poet. But a lot of you guys might not have read my work unless you check me out on Instagram. But that's not what I'm plugging today. And if you want to figure out how to get me on Instagram, it's at KenyoHQ. Um, but what I want to plug today are my books. Last year, I wrote um, 12 books in 12 months from June of 2017 to um, uh, July of 2018. And all of those books are for sale through uh, my company, Project Forward, on Facebook right now. I added that on Facebook. So if you go to the Project Forward um, page, you just type in Project Forward, you'll see it's like a yellow arrow going this, this way. It's going forward. Um, you'll be able to um, check that out. So that's my plug. And I know lots of you guys, because this is the Saved Over Success Network, sort of by Jania Moore, the fire starter. So I know for sure there's lots of you out there who um, have your own products and do your own thing. So I want to do a little trade. You go buy my book, right? And then you come over here and you write, it's like $10. Then you come over here and then you write uh, in the description, put a link, whatever, put your product in there or whatever, your business, if you don't have a product, put your product, your service in there and I will pick at le if there's less than three, then I'll read all of them, but I'll pick at least three of them to talk about in the next episode of Kenyo Poetry Live. So that's my plug to start this show off. And um, why do I know that you're going to go do this? Because today's episode is called Faith. I'm going to start with reading something um, from Instagram. I'll let you guys see what I'm reading, actually. I'll, I'll throw that up on the screen if you don't mind. Um... And it's kind of funny. I'm a I'm an on the fly guy, and some people they meet me and they're like, "That's lame. Um, you need to prepare more." And I say to them, <laughs> "Sure, one day." <laughs> I'm just joking. I do prepare, um, but uh, sometimes yeah, I definitely do like to do things my way, um, which is on the fly. So I'm gonna share with you a little thing this morning that was written by my sister. My sister Boomy. Um, is she's a prolific writer. I really don't give her enough ups. I don't talk about her enough. Um, she has been on New York uh, Times bestseller list. She's been on the Amazon bestsellers list. Um, and she's doing a really great job. She has at least four books out um, that I know of. And she just signed a contract to do a poetry book um, with her publisher or a publisher. I don't know if it's the same publisher. I'm super proud of her. And um, I, I read some of the poems that um, that she that she writes, um, and maybe I should maybe I'll share one of those with you guys too while we have this time together this morning for for KPL. Um, but she wrote something on Instagram, I believe it was this morning. I'm gonna throw that up on the screen for you right now. Let's do that. Um, and I I think I think it's so cool because she's super. I'm scrolling through it really quick to see if she has any cuss words. She'll do that sometimes, even if it's like a prayer thing. But no, she doesn't. Um, and uh, this is this is really cool because I think we do have a misunderstanding of faith sometimes. And I've been on faith a lot recently. You know, I've just had God multiple times a day just tell me it's like have faith, create ideas around faith, have faith, create ideas around faith. Um, and I think faith, faith is interesting. Faith is um, in a lot of ways. Your, is your intentional decision to create ideas 
um, around love. That's that's one way that I've really that's really been cemented for me. Um, uh, what faith really means. Um, you you intentionally deciding to create ideas around love, and um, I think that's an act an active thing. Um, and it's, it's very interesting. It can be hard to do. So this is what she wrote. She wrote, dear God, people think faith is something you hide in, bury your head in the ground and ignore facts, science, and circumstances as a form of spiritual escapism, or they think it's a wooden club to beat others with, but that's not true. You've taught me about faith. Faith is a light in one's heart that exposes all the good, the bad, and the ugly faith. Believing you are real here and good is a daily challenge. No, uh, no moment, oh wait, moment by moment challenge because it asks us to take our fears off of the throne. You told me a while ago um, that what I look at is what I worship. I can't help but see, I love that, what I look at is what I worship. Um, it's so interesting because mentally we'll be looking at a lot of stuff too and it'll dictate our life, you know. Um, if mentally you're looking at, cause there's lots of, you know, there's lots of stuff in the head and if mentally you're looking at some stuff, uh, your fears consistently, you know, you're, 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 you're putting them on a pedestal. You're almost worshiping them. That's so cool that you would put that in there. Um, I can't help but see reasons to be afraid all around me, but I can lift my eyes whenever I want. Woo! Whoa! I can look at troubled dark waters churning below, or I can look up to you. I refuse to make idols out of my fears. I refuse to bow to them as if they can create miracles rather than chaos. I hear you saying it. Keep your eyes on me, and I am reminding myself all day until I go to sleep, and it keeps the abyss of the unknown and the lies that I'm not worthy or you don't care at bay. Faith is a light. It gently shines on my ambition when it becomes a painful, tiresome performance and helps me my ambition when it becomes a tiresome performance and helps me refocus on using the strength you gave me to serve others and feel more alive. This is why she's on the Amazon bestseller list. Jeez. It shines. Um, you guys can see I did my glasses removal, my angry glasses removal. It shines light on days that I feel too still. I'm going to show you guys me again, actually, because I'm important. Uh, it shines light on days that I feel too still, too quiet for me to believe you are at work and tells me that power doesn't always come with thunder and fireworks, but often like the slow blooming of a flower. Last night, you showed me the most beautiful imagery. You showed me how when someone holds on to even the smallest glowing speck of faith or even just the desire to have it during their cloudiest of days, their belief forms golden ribbons that will one day be the jewelry they wear in heaven. Jeez. Jeez, that's beautiful. As we walk amongst each other in that splendid place, we will see one another's faith during storms as shining gold. If you are, I don't know, see, this is why I like poets, because some of you guys out there, you're, you're probably not, you're not that good at metaphors, right? You hear metaphors and sometimes you don't completely get it because you're more physical minded, which isn't bad. You know, that's why we have engineers. That's why we have, um, you know, mothers and fathers, people who can put some of the, the um, some of them can be metaphorical too, but there's different kinds of people. But um, what I love about poets is they can help you get some imagination ideas about stuff that you might not naturally have access to. So I'm loving this already. Um, yeah, you showed me that the most beautiful type of faith isn't the loudest, but the one hanging on for dear life, wobbly and shaking under the weight of this life. That's actually something that I don't think we talk enough about either. You know, we think of faith sometimes, and I'm not saying that everyone who's in a good place has always been there. Some people, they had to struggle their way into that situation. So I don't want to take 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 away um, from from the people who seem to be su successful. Um, but um, some of us, um, some of them, you know, it's a little bit easier for them. And we don't think about the people who are in lower situations. And we think that because they're struggling visibly or because they're going through a lot of stuff that they don't have faith. Nonsense. Nonsense. Some of those people have the heaviest weights, and the fact that they even showed up in your presence is fact that they have faith. I mean, I'm, I'm not talking about any, I'm not 
like talking about any one type of faith this i don't know why today is so on this thing but it's just like faith comes in so many different forms and it's not something that some of us have and some of us don't have i don't even think that's what it is about uh, i think it's a tool that all of us use consistently and we have access to and uh, i think we only get more power just from thinking about it because it's everyone no one is no one is walking down any of these streets of life without faith. I guarantee you, you wouldn't make two steps. Wouldn't happen. Wouldn't happen. You wouldn't even. There's anyway. Okay, <clears throat> it's just about what you have faith in, and learning new levels of it. I think. But the one hanging on for dear life, wobbly and shaking under the weight of this life, but still lit in the form of uh, of desperation, earnest prayers whispered through lips wet and weary tears. Come on. What is what what could be having more faith than pushing through when you're crying to even say a prayer to God? You know what? This was really great. I'm glad I got to read that to you guys. Are you guys enjoying Kenya Poetry Live this morning? I hope you are. I don't know when you're watching it. I said morning. But um I realize I skipped a portion of of KPL that I love a lot, which is share time. So I'm gonna get in the shares. If you're watching with me, you've made it this deep. You're probably missing the share time, so let's get into it. I'm gonna share this. You guys don't know, um, I'm I'm an, I'm a poet, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a musician. I'm gonna change my little logo down there. If you see this logo, see if I can point to it. It says poet entrepreneur. I'm changing that um, today to be artist entrepreneur because your boy doesn't play. I have so much stuff to talk about in this episode. It's going to be about faith. I have two poems, two videos to share with you. And then I want to talk about what's right behind me, um, this vision board, and um, how I think that plays into, I sometimes call them prayer boards. <laughs> I want to talk to you a little bit about that and um, uh, another project that that's actually related to that I'm working on. But first, we're going into share hour. So everybody get your share buttons ready. Let's do this. Boom. So go over to the Saved Over Success page on Facebook. Get over here. You'll see my video. Oh, there I am. It's a little bit in the past. Um, but I'm going to go ahead. Oh, hey, Gwenda Williams. So happy to have you in there. June Omiyinka Woods. What's up? I know that name, Omiyinka. You must be Yoruba like me. Shout out to Nigeria. Okay, let's share this. Um... We're going to share this. I'm going to share it first. I'm going to share it over to, um, I'm going to share it to my, my go live Kenyo page. That's the page for my podcast and my, my other live streams where I do lots of stuff. Um, you guys might've checked some of that out. So that's just go live. I'm going to share it there because you know, why not? I'm going to put, Hey guys, I'm live on Facebook number one poetry show on I'm putting a bunch on this one I'm not gonna do them all like this one on the network at saved over success network Facebook is being a little stubborn today saved over success boom shakalaka boom so I'm gonna get that out Instead of I am, I'm going to put we're. You know, sometimes when you're doing business stuff, you don't want to put I, you want to put we, even though it's just you. Boom. <laughs> so, boom, that's out there. Let me share this a couple more times. I'm going to share it to uh, my group, um, um, Fiercely Supporting, which is the group for San Antonio, but it's also the global group because San Antonio is the number one spot um, for Project 4. It's, it's uh, the group for artists and entrepreneurs. Go ahead and join that group if you're looking for for more artists and entrepreneurs. You want to meet some people. You need some people to network with. You know, networking is hard. You know, because usually you're at the sometimes you're at the beginning stages of an idea, and it actually it's the language of learning how to share ideas with people. Hey guys, um, I'm gonna put Kenyo's live again because I'm sharing this as the Project Forward page. That way they understand. Can you? I'm going to tag my page, not my profile. It's live again on at Saved Over Success. Got to show lots of love to Saved Over Success. Um, let's 
do that. Save it over success. Yes. Okay, cool. I don't have a, a ton of Facebook pages. I mean, that might sound weird to you guys because I do have more Facebook pages than a lot of people. But um, it's because I do a lot of different stuff. Um, but I'm going to, and I have some, some rights on some other pages to be able to share to them. But I'm going to focus mostly on on my pages. I'm going to share this to my page, Kinyo. Hey guys, don't miss my latest live stream. I'm going to share it to one more thing. Hope you guys are enjoying this little share time. The shares are so important. Nikita's up in the comments. I've What's up, Nikita? How you doing? Hope you're having an awesome, awesome day. She said, hey, brother, because that's how close we're. I'm going to clean my glasses a little bit. I don't want you guys to see me all smudged up. Share it to one more page. Um, let's share it uh, to our partners, Rise Above TV. Um... um hey they're all about positivity so i'm gonna say watch this go check out rise above tv by the way watch this positive live stream about hashtag faith by at kenya on the and you know, i'm gonna be sharing some some rise above tv stuff on some of my other pages today because um yeah, just haven't been doing enough of that. And I'm seeing, I'm going to see the, the creator of, of Rise Above TV, um, Janie Terrazas, um, who's just meeting with the mayor of San Antonio from what I gather on Facebook. I'm going to be meeting with her later today because next weekend on Saturday, we have this event coming up with heavy, heavy hitters um, from around town. Maximo, uh, Angu uh, I'm not going to try to say his last name, Angiano, Anguano, Anguino. Anguino, Anguino, probably, um, of We Live Heritage. He just started a Kickstarter. They're already at like 1500 bucks, and they're doing a great job. Um, he's going to come talk about his media company. Then we have Lauren Browning of, of Getting Powered Together. Let me post this so we can get back to what we're doing. Um, and you know, I'm going to throw this one more time. I'm going to throw it on my personal profile. People have been telling me I don't use my personal profile a lot. It's because I love my pages, and I kind of feel like if you're not following one of my pages, you don't actually care about what I'm doing. So I kind of just use my profile to talk with friends. But today, I'm going to come back on here and be like, I'm live again, friends. Do a little smiley face. Okay, let's go. Um, th this has already been a great episode, just being able to talk with you guys. Oh, oh Nikita said, love you. Love you straight back. Um, so yeah, so I want to share with you. I'm gonna take a break right now, and then we're gonna come back talk a little bit more about faith. We've been going live um, for for a minute now, but I totally, totally, totally want to share this with you. Did I was I showing you guys what was going on? Oh, I didn't even show you all my shares, so you were just looking at me the whole time. My bad. I didn't transition it over in my little editing thing. But I did share it, and um, if you go check those things out, you can you can see where I shared it to. Um, but right now, I'm going to take you over to a video of mine that was actually um, when it comes to faith. This is one of the biggest times that I re ever really, really, really tapped into um, that as a means of um, writing. So I'm going to share that with you guys. I hope you check it out. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I mean, I know that you will because it's, 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 I, I watched it yesterday and I was blown away. I know it's weird to say you're blown away by yourself, but whatever. Um, but I, I want you guys to check this out. This is a poem called Life and Night. This next poem is called uh, Life and Night. I have a few videos for those who aren't poetry inclined, at least you have something to look at. It's something I like to do if you go to my YouTube page. I always have videos with poetry. Sometimes it adds a an important element. So I have my brother Nate coming out with some music. It's the third time me and Nate have done stuff together. So it's cemented. We have a brothership now. If at any point during the poem you feel anything, just say thank you, Jesus, because that's what I said after I wrote it. You don't have to snap, just say thank you, Jesus. 
The devil can make a king from any heathen son, but the Lord tests the mettle of his officials, strengthening them with lions, toughening them with prison, bathing them in flame and prophecy. And so, though my feet grow weary and my soul is stretched thin, I trust this warrior spirit to, be ba to baptize me in the victory of enough battles to bear royal fruits as sweet as the Holy Spirit. Fruits with seeds enough for the next generations of kings and queens. Enough fruits to fill me up and steady my feet so I can take up my cross. Because I will march through life and death like day and night. Christ ignited a spark which grew into a flame and burns in my throat, punctuating every word from my lips with Jesus' name. So brothers, don't try to cure your loneliness with loving life, but trust Christ. They made me name myself a poet so that I could study the science of the soul, then lock the doors of poetic success so that the sun could never make me whole. Oh God, shine down around my arms. Brothers, don't spend your eyes on lights of every kind. It's dirt and dust and sea and space. Thrust your staff into my sea, O oh Lord, so I can part ways from my flesh and walk through into the land of my destiny. You have found me drowning. Take my heart and give me wings. Give me another breath, one to breathe when I hold my own too tightly and plunge into myself. There lays a book unread with a word unbroken for a new breed of men made of color ready to walk into the light of day marching like wine out of barrels, grapes taken from the tree of life. The devil doesn't even know. This is now the first he's heard. Now he trembles. Brothers, when the sea comes alive, when the winds roar, when the winds roar, rush out, holy men, into the fields of stars and crown Christ our King. Give me another breath, O oh God, so that when I breathe my own too deep, there is another to set me loose to come back to you. I cannot be killed by men. I cannot even die within this body, but still be simple, O oh God, and let me breathe. Jesus will carry me through death and life like day and night, through fire and flame, through peace and prosperity forward until the work is done, forward to the promised land, forward until I'm calm enough to breathe and speak healing into the lives he's put me in. Jesus will carry me through death and life like day and night until I trust only in his name and I am home again. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. You say, you don't have to snap. You say, whatever you pull it, just say, thank you, Jesus. One more time, say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That was a... Uh... That was a that was, that was uh, a poem that I that I did live, and I, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I realize that not everyone watching the Saved Over Success Network um, is a Christian, or you know, um, actually, you probably are. So anyway, I'm not even going to go into that explanation. Don't really feel like justifying myself this morning. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to jump straight into another poem. This is, um, because I realize, you know, like, everyone who goes through faith, it's not always, you know, this outward display of, um, of strength and, um, um, whatever. Um, so this is a poem by, um, Frankie Baines, and she, she's just trying to dissect a bunch of different stuff that she's going through. Let's see. Sorry, guys, I had a phone call. My phone's being a jerk. But anyway, uh, let me drop this. This was at Carmen Zelikaya. I hosted um, a poetry night there a few few weeks ago, like a month ago actually. And so um and this is uh this was this was um this is shared out by um Forever Yours Productions, which is a lovely production company that captures a lot of um what's going on in in the the entertainment media community that I'm in. Um so you guys check this out. And um, tell me if you rock with it. I know that you will. Um, this is Frankie Baines, presented to you by um, Forever Yours Productions. God is in my ear. She whispers, God is in my ear. And I don't want to hear it. It's too dark in here. And I've hurt too bad, and I don't know how to let go. It's my job to keep myself safe. 
And that's how you move on. That's how you let go. But if crazy were to hold on and saying is to let go, what do we do with the not knowing, not seeing, the blind faith? But I'm the crazy one. You want me to go where I can't hear, see, feel anything? No thanks. To write this for you would be crazy because you can't see yourself, let alone me. And the unknown, dark, blindfolded places are where I'm supposed to step if I want to be free. I don't want you to worry about me. I'm truly incapable of love. <clears throat> love is a mirror. How can I love you if I don't see me and all of my flaws and love them? I love your flaws because they are the saltiness of the soup. Sometimes a little too salty, so I add more rice to the bowl. That's how I love you. More rice, full belly. But today I'm alone at my table. He said I burnt the rolls. But I know, I know two can sit together. I see it all the time around me. One brings rice, another brings butter, prepared to patch up all of their bad dishes. I don't have enough to fix your salty soup and my burnt rolls alone. If I am my own responsibility and you are your own responsibility, where do forgiveness and grace fall into place? There is so much grace in a pot of soup. Add water, add salt, a bit of lime adds just the right depth. There's always something you can do if you're committed to enjoy a meal together. Right. Capable. Maybe you're not as committed as you think. Don't you have arms and legs? You are capable. I am capable. It is a commitment to show up to the table, day in and day out. I'm not sure how it would all turn out. So I made a pot of soup for myself and fixed it up just right. Soul food for a goddess. The applause was cut off, so you guys have to finish the applause in your minds. So what is he saying about Kawhi Leonard, Stephen? Well, first of all, decided not to jump into another poem and instead to drop into some uh, sports stuff. And if you know anything about me at all, I'm not about sports. How does Facebook even choose what it's going to show next? Anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about today, um, but I have enjoyed hanging out with you guys. This has been Kenyo Poetry Live. I hope you guys got some really cool stuff. And, um, you know, I'm only here for 30 minutes. I think I might do, I might start doing a longer show. Probably not because there's lots of other stuff, great, great stuff on this network. And my whole point isn't to keep you guys wrapped up watching me um, because there's, it's really just to pump you guys up. You have a spare moment in your day and you just need a little bit of, of cool stuff. I loved that poem because even though, you know, she talked mostly about struggles, she was creating ideas about how love can actually work. And what, like I said, I really do think that's what faith is all about. What else are we here for? Uh, we're not, I mean, I mean, yeah, grass is nice, meadows are great, uh, lakes are beautiful, oceans are fun, food is great, trees have them, you can eat fruit. <laughs> I'm going on a long thing to say that more than anything, we're here for people. And the only real way to be here with people is love. And um, I think faith starts with that. People like to think about faith and all the stuff I shared today, we talked about, I mean, there was a lot of God and there was a lot of Jesus in there, both super, super big to me and super important. But um, I think sometimes the way that people interpret those things can get them away from what's actually going on, um, which is you got people around you and um, there isn't a person ever. There's lots of people on this earth. Most of them, there's lots of people who have existed. Most of them you never can have access to because they weren't alive when you were alive. Um, and even that, the ones who are here, you're probably not going to get to see most of them. So for the people who 
end up on your path. Like, I don't, I really don't care who it is. It could be the guy who works at Starbucks. It could be um, definitely the people in your family, definitely um, the people in your work group, in your, your friend group, and um, especially the ones who you've chosen to keep around. Um, every single one of those people is an opportunity for love. And um, if you want to really get used to the, the idea of exercising faith, create ideas around loving the people in your life. I was going to talk about this little um, vision board, which is strongly related to another podcast that I'm doing um, called Hashtag Goals. But you can figure that out by following. Go over to my Facebook page at Kenyo HQ. Go over to my Instagram at Kenyo HQ. Um, and in the bios and the descriptions and different posts, you'll see me sharing about that podcast and this vision board. You'll see that on my um, on my Instagram later on today. Thank you so much for hanging out with us here at Kenyo Poetry Live, the number one poetry show on the network, Saved Over Success. Um, shout out to Rise Above, our TV, our partners, Janie Terrazas, Jania Moore, powerful women in the industry. Um, the artist, Kenyo. I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>